Hey, welcome back to the channel. Top Test has a range of meters for you. Gas, moisture, and sound. All right, we're gonna do a little before and after here. Let's see what we got. We're gonna change the spark plugs and see if we can notice a decibel change. We use the A and C weighting and they're explained in this video. Saw a peak of 87. We had it on the C weight because your ears aren't capable of hearing certain noises with the C weighting. We also had it on A to begin with. And we're gonna check the difference now that we are about to change the spark plugs. You see Top Test has gone the extra mile. And how loud is your stereo at night? You might have just gotten new windows. You're fixing to do some more, so you want to check before and after. There might be certain equipment in your shop you're wondering, do I need hearing protection for? This has A and C readings. A is more for your human ears. C is for theaters and certain sound applications like that. We need a 10 and an 8 because uh, Mustangs be like that, so. The dealership lost my last set of these. Don't ask me how they do that, but they returned the car to me with this engine cover sitting cattywampus. But I figured we would be able to check this and test the noise. Let's see what we got. And the hood slightly popped. And expecting me to just to get on the highway. This can be particularly useful if you're trying to noise proof or sound proof a certain area of your home. If you're trying to set up a studio or a baby room, how noisy is somebody's generator if you work for maybe a municipality that requires certain levels of decibels not to be exceeded? How noisy is my neighbor and can I report them? Things like that, there's a range of reasons why you might need a sound meter. This one has fast and slow mode, so when I slow this down, you're gonna see that you actually have time to see what noise levels there are. A long press will enable the built-in backlight, and you're looking at different prices, you realize you can get a little bit more, you get relative humidity, sound, and temperature all in one tool. Right now you can see 36.7 is a minimum level. If I turn off this fan, let's see if we can get this to get quieter. Yeah, okay. Louder, so is it better? Looks like 36.3 is gonna be the quietest it's ever been in here. It's quiet. 70 wasn't it? Oh, it was like 87. Two decibels quieter, not bad. 85, oh. What's the difference? Frequencies that we can't hear. 